Hundreds of thousands of people, if not millions, become addicted to alcohol. It can destroy families. It can destroy relationships. It can destroy careers, health and even lives. It happens every day in countries around the world. But why is alcohol so addictive? In this video, we're going to explore the reasons why people become addicted to alcohol. And later on, I'll share a video with you that will help you if you're worried about your own relationship with alcohol. Now, there's more than one reason why people become addicted to alcohol. But one of the main reasons, which was discovered by scientists, is that some people release more endorphins when they drink alcohol than others. Endorphins are a feel-good opioid. So when we drink, there's a release of endorphins. It makes us feel good. It stimulates the reward center in our brain. And when that happens, we naturally want more. We want to do it again. Our brain tells us to repeat the process because it felt so good. And this can be at the root of a addiction for many people. And scientific studies found that some people are more susceptible to a greater release. In other words, they get more out of alcohol. They get more of a feel-good hit and therefore their urge to do it again is far greater than somebody who doesn't get such a great hit of endorphins. So subsequently, somebody who gets more pleasure out of drinking may find themselves drinking more and more in an effort to try and get that same feeling again. The reality is that we build a tolerance to alcohol and we never recreate that same initial euphoric feeling. And also the euphoric high that we get from that hit of endorphins and the hit of dopamine, it doesn't last very long after we start drinking. It might last for 30 or 45 minutes and after after that, it's followed by mostly negative consequences. But that initial euphoric high can be enough. It can be enough to stimulate the reward center in our brain to such a degree that we feel that we have to do it again. Now, the next reason that people can become addicted to alcohol is because it's a great way of numbing our feelings and numbing our emotions and numbing our senses. Alcohol is a depressant. Now, I don't mean that in the sense that it makes you depressed, although you can watch my other video which is right above me now which talks about why alcohol can increase our anxiety and our depression but what I mean by alcohol being a depressant is that it depresses our senses it numbs our feelings it numbs our emotions you might have noticed that when you've hurt yourself when you've been drinking it doesn't seem to hurt as much as normal because your nerves and all your senses have been dulled by the chemical that's what alcohol does it numbs everything and it can numb our feelings and our emotions. So as well as the euphoric high that many people get from alcohol and heavy drinkers can find that they get that euphoric high higher than people that they might class as normal drinkers, people also use alcohol often unknowingly to numb themselves from uncomfortable feelings and emotions. And it can become a coping mechanism, a way of dealing with those uncomfortable feelings, those negative emotions that we just don't want to feel. But the downside of that is that it also blocks us from feeling the good emotions like happiness and joy. Sure, we might feel a sense of happiness and joy in that euphoric moment after we start drinking, but slowly over time, alcohol ends up stealing our happiness. And again, there's other videos on my channel that talk about exactly why and how this happens. The more you understand this, the more you educate yourself, the more you'll realize that alcohol is probably having a really negative effect on your life. And you'll make a powerful and positive choice to remove alcohol on the basis that it probably doesn't align with the values of who you are as a person. And I think a great measure as to whether you're addicted to alcohol is to really look at whether you have control over your drinking or whether it has control over you. I was a heavy daily wine drinker for over 20 years and alcohol absolutely had control over me. I would think about drinking during the day. I would use thoughts about drinking to distract myself from any uncomfortable feelings or thoughts. And of course, I would drink every single evening, often between one and three bottles of red wine. I'd often drink beer on top, sometimes spirits and barely a day went by without me drinking. I absolutely was addicted to alcohol. And whilst I believe that that euphoric hit, those endorphins, that dopamine, that feel-good opioid rush 
was a reason for it. Firmly, I believe that it was to numb myself from uncomfortable feelings. I've talked in my other videos and on the podcast about my relationship with past trauma and childhood emotional neglect. And I think that was what I was numbing myself from. And that was how I became addicted to alcohol. But these are the main reasons why people get addicted. And then, of course, we can fall into a habitual behavior. It just becomes a routine and a routine that can become really hard to get out of. We end end up hardwiring our brain that alcohol is what we use to deal with any kind of difficult situation, to celebrate, to commiserate, no matter what, we'll always find a reason to drink. But you can break these habits, you can make changes, and I know it can feel difficult, but all the support you need is there. I've got an amazing Facebook community, I've got a stop drinking program that can help you, and of course my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe to that. And there's the Sobriety Unleashed podcast. If you have haven't listened to that, absolutely check it out. Now, I promised I'd share a video with you that will help you know what to do in terms of the next steps if you're worried about your drinking. That video is right next to me now. All you need to do is click on it and you can start watching it right away. It's a one hour course that will help anyone who's worried about their drinking. Check it out, leave a comment and let me know what you think and I'll see you again on the next video very soon.